We are at the um, Seattle. The Seattle Lesbian Gay Film Festival, and this is right after the uh, premiere of uh, Bear City 2, The Proposal in Seattle. Wait, you're not just gray, you're going bald, right from that out. Later, Anthony. Bye, beautiful. Rose, Get him out of house. What brought you guys back to doing part two? Uh, well, the reception for part one was so wonderful uh, all over the world. We, I mean, huge international. For, I think we were not expecting it to be such a hit with audiences. So two was very easy to get enthusiasm for and funding for. And I think we did a good job kind of doing a new twist on, you know, having a part two that wasn't trite, you know, but it was about something. So, uh, yeah, we hope there's a part three, too. <laughs> One of the great things about part two is there's just so many cameos from different people, from uh, Kevin Smith to uh, Frank DiCario, and yeah. uh, you were in a lot of scenes with uh, yeah, them. How was that for you? It was really fun. First of all, that all these fantastic people are fans of the film was just so touching and wonderful. And We get letters all week long. I know people do this normally in showbiz, but we get letters every week saying this movie changed my life, this movie validated me. So the fact that these big wigs who have a history and have a legacy in a way, have we come into our little tiny film was really lovely. Yeah. And Kevin Smith was hilarious, wrote his own lines. Aww. And uh, even uh, Varla Jean Merlin also uh, oh, made an appearance in Funny the Bus. Well, she's not difficult to get in the movie, but yeah. Yeah, she's kind of hard to do it. But Kathy and Jimmy was hard to get. Yeah. We had to fight for that. Wonderful. And she was wonderful. And also, I know, Stephen, you were in a um, scene with uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Jason Stewart. Oh, yeah. What was, what was that like? Well, it was unfortunate that my character had to hate him in it because I think he's hilarious so and delightful. So we had a great time off camera, but on camera, yeah, we really beat the shit out of each other. It was very, it was only there like one day. It was so fast. And that was the first scene we shot of the whole movie, which is why I was tan and then less tan yeah. as the movie went on. That was so tan in that first scene. The greatest thing He's about great. him, too, is whenever the festival happens, his character's absolutely adored on screen. He's hated and adored. So I always email him or Facebook him afterwards and say, oh, my God, you were killed. You killed in yeah. Fresno. You killed in L.A. You killed in New York, if he's not able to be. It's polarizing. Yeah. One of my favorite scenes was the cupcake scene. Oh, yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we shot that an insane amount of times because of the timing of getting the cupcake right. Um, but it turned out really nice, right? It turned out sort of surprisingly poignant. I was surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it, um, but it was good. It's a great metaphor. Yeah, it was fun. It was freezing that day. We were in, it was, oof, that was a rough day. But we made it look like it was nothing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then the, tell me about the foam scene. You were both in that. Ooh. The foam scene. Yeah, there was ooh. there was a lot of pain and agony over the foam of, scene. Yeah. So if you're in a foam dance, you're in a foam dance maybe for an hour, maybe hour and a half, max two. If you're in a foam dance for 14 hours a day for several days, yep. it causes massive, massive skin, skin deterioration. Yeah. Something around <laughs> third degree burns. Yes, around the midriff in, 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 in particular. And several of us had <laughs> to wear scaled new skin I was a, I, can't, I don't have to say it, but you're basically your well, I'm just going to say it your yeah. genitals will renew their skin <laughs> yeah, well, they're really basically hard. burned off the chemical says don't be in this more than 2 hours and we were in it for days. 14 hours, really, seriously. And the wonderful thing that was, was the, the only time I ever got a little princessy. No, well, you deserve it. I was your like there's was there's the a floor. lawsuit yeah. coming up. Whole, You're going to get a lawsuit, Doug. His whole sack was on the floor. Um, and oh, also so what was pissed. fantastic was all those fa background actors came in from all over the U.S. and all over the world, really, to, to get be their in balls this. Burned. To get their balls burned. To get their burned. nuts burnt off by a chemical peel. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. It was well, there was a fire outside, and we oh, couldn't open the, the doors. Thing. It's a caustic. So we're breathing it yeah. in. It's a caustic we almost material. Died. And we, really had, a, we had to shut the doors completely. It we had could to, have been a massive <laughs> suicide. Yeah, nice. Massive bear pretty suicide. Nice. I think we're all going to be suing in about 10 years. Oh. Yeah. I've started. Oh, and I, uh, Gregory, I remember two years ago, one of the questions people were asking about, uh, and I think we talked about it in our interview, that um, everybody was talking about how wonderful you were oh, on the set. So you, were the, you were one of the highlights of working oh, on the film. So sweet. She's a nice person. Oh, that's not true. I'm a terrible, terrible bitch. <laughs> um, that's very sweet. I had a great time. I mean, I, I had... Um, 
I had been behind the scenes for a long time. I did a lot of theater over the years, and so I'd been developing films for a long time. So when they asked me to do the film, it was just every day was a joy. It didn't matter if we were in, and we were, 120 degrees sometimes. Ooh. And as a fat man, that's like 190 degrees. Uh, and we just had a blast. It was great working with everyone. It was good, good peoples. And uh, what is coming up for you, too? You can just see me on Happy Endings and ABC. It's on Tuesdays now. My character Derek returns after I got married on the season two finale, so I'm back for season three. Yes, and on Hulu.com, I think you can see both oh, yes, can both uh, season one and season two yes, to catch up. If you haven't seen them yet, you should. And I am developing animated movies and television shows. That's what I like to do, and I'm doing it for a company, and we're hoping to get some made in the next year. <laughs> well, I can't say anything. We're very, very, very close to a big, big deal, and we're crossing our fingers. So hopefully you'll see my big, fat face. I'm available. Fat. And you will be a voice. <laughs> what? You got service out here. I see in the entire film that on um, the main message it was about commitment yeah. and trust. What does that mean to you? <laughs> uh, it's an unusual subject for me because I have never been in that situation and I don't, uh, I mean, I'm dating someone, I date, you know, I'll date like a regular person, but I, I have never grappled with an issue that big. and, and uh, well, I was talking about this earlier today. I, of course, I'm. I I want gay marriage. I want it to. This is the subject of our of our decade, right? Um, but I actually have no <laughs> history have no or good facts about it. You know what I mean? Uh, so it was unusual for me. It, it required a lot of sincerity, which I was not ready for, and had to shoot a lot of extra scenes that to look yes mind, I did goodness. in my in my wedding scene that that close up of me is shot 6 months later because I was so insincere the first time around Sorry, well, were now you know. There were mitigating circumstances. It was were cold. There? Yes. But also, I think for some people, the film scares them a little bit because it's, uh, it's, it, it feels like it's saying gays have to be married, and that's not what the film is saying. It's saying if you want to get married, that's fantastic, and here's what it means to have that commitment. And if you decide not to get married, you're just as valid and just as important, and you'll come into your own in whatever way you choose, with relationships or with yourself. And I think that's what the message is. It's not every fag get out there and get married. It's there's the option. <laughs> and how amazing to have this option. I'm 47. I never in my lifetime thought this would happen in some of the states. I never did. I'm from Texas. When I hear people saying gay marriage is ratified in a state, I'm like, oh, holy hell. I remember being that 13-year-old kid going, this is never going to be better. And it is. Mm -hmm. And I say, what does ratified mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to use the words. Oh, well, that's all the questions I have. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, best of luck to you, and also uh, looking forward to uh, Bear City 3. Yay! Group hug. Get in there. Group hug. Big bear hug. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you so, you so much. much. Thank you. Baby, I'm dancing. Back to the wall, bitch. Look at my clothes.